This is part nine of our Oracle of Ages 100% walkthrough. In this part, we're gonna be getting a heart piece. We're gonna be meeting Maple the Witch. Uh, then we're also gonna get flippers, Cheval's rope, uh -huh. and we will actually end this part by getting a raft made out of the rope. Now, I wasn't sure if we were going to talk about it or not, but I guess since I had nothing else to say, <laughs> we're out the bat. We'll kind of talk about it. I think it was in like maybe um, part seven, part six or seven, we kind of talked about the break we took in between yeah. part four and five. I'm not really sure how long it was. But um, it's been 13 months later oh my gosh. since part 8, and we're finally coming back to this game. Um, well, we did a lot, though. Yeah, we, we did. We, we did a 100% walkthrough for Ocarina of Time. We did yes. Link to the Past. We probably put out five rankings Yeah, that quite time. a bit of rankings, uh-huh. Or more, yeah. So uh -huh. we, uh, we had some other projects. I really projects. didn't count up how many rankings we did. Exactly. But a little more high-priority projects. So if you're wondering where this was at, we just we kind of got things that were just, I want to say more important, just like games we liked more. We yeah. kind of just got sidetracked, but... Now we're able to come back to this game. And, and hopefully we'll power through we'll it We'll power now. through because I don't see anything in front of us that we're going to be doing otherwise nah. in ranking. So here we are. We're back to we're the back game. We're back at it. <laughs> I would say it's nice to be back, but it's still Oracle of Ages. So we man. still don't like it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now, Maple the Witch, uh, it's Syrup the Witch's apprentice. Mm -hmm. And the times you meet her are just completely random when she'll appear on your screen. Um, there is an eye. You can get a piece of heart from yes, her you can. that she'll drop if she runs into you sometimes. But again, that's when, that's totally random. Yeah, it is. We haven't gotten it. We yet. had like I've been seven <laughs> dungeon. I still have not gotten it yet. So it's one of those things. Like I know we're trying to do a hundred percent walk. Yeah, and actually, I'm far enough in the game that I will tell you like. We don't actually get a couple magical rings because yeah. there's a really hard game that I could just not beat. So <laughs> we uh, don't get those, but we do show you how to get them. It's yeah. just up to you to pull it off. But yeah. um, I'm trying really hard to get all the heart pieces. And just this is one right here that I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it or not. Because like you said, it's completely random and it how is. to record that exactly. How to save the file, like no know where idea. to save it at. It's just something that I'm going to have to think through. And the whole maple thing is annoying anyway, because anytime she runs into you, she drops like a few of her items and a few yes, of uh -huh. your items get and dropped. She never as has well. anything good except the heart piece. Yeah, she has a heart piece, and that's about it. So she can steal like rupees, bombs, uh, seeds, things like that. Yeah, from you. Uh -huh. you have to race around whatever uh, screen you're on mm -hmm. and try to collect them before she does. And it's it's kind of annoying and stupid. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. It really is because you don't like I said, you don't get anything valuable from it except for that heart. Piece, but yeah. like, even that, like I mean, that's a one-time encounter. Like the rest exactly. of it, it's basically just getting your stuff back, which we'll kind of talk about that here in a couple parts with Crescent oh, Island. That's, <laughs> that's all. I'm gonna rip on that part when we Me get too. there. But another thing that just I kind of remembered while we've been, we keep switching between like the the Rock's Feather uh -huh. and the Power Bracelet. I Hate missed that. the 3D games where you can assign yeah. like three items uh -huh. to the different buttons. Going back to this where you can basically have your sword and one other item equipped is just, or I know you can have two items, but then you don't have your sword, but it just feels so much more limited, and we're in that pause screen yeah. so often now. It's just that you have to switch them back like so fast, like yeah. so quickly. Like I guess, for example, the power bracelet. They got the first dungeon. I wish that was like an item that was always equipped. Exactly. So like when you get to rocks, like you could just lift rocks. Like I yes. guess in Link to the Past would be a good example. Like we got the power it, glove yeah. and the Tines mitt, and we didn't have to equip it. We just automatically lifted things. So yep. I just think there's some items like that that could help us out with having to go back and forth between the pause screens. It was the same thing in Ocarina of Time. You had the uh, silver gauntlets and golden gauntlets that were yeah, uh -huh. automatically equipped. Yeah. I got to kind of laugh. This poor guy that we just talked to has got to have the most boring life in <laughs> oh, existence. Yeah. He's spending his whole life researching like w things in the water that, that won't rot. That won't yeah. rot. So he's researching flippers and a rope that won't rot, and he says his life will be complete well, when yeah. he's done. You know, like 400 years ago, though, I mean, that could have been like, you know, something that was really That's big true. or very important at that, that time true. because, like, I mean, I guess, like, you know, traveling on a raft or some kind of transportation like that, back 400 years ago, that could have got a lot of crap done, really, so... Well, I know we're going to be using the raft and the uh, yes, uh -huh. and, and the flippers here before it's so It sounds long. like a boring life nowadays, but back then, maybe that was like, you know, yep. if you're one of the few people that has a raft... I mean, you're a pretty cool guy. I mean, you're well known. Yep. And I do like how they do this, though. How where are the uh, what's the other he okay. what's the other hero's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what's the other hero's name that's helping us? It's been so long, I can't even remember his uh, name. Oh, Ralph. There you go. Thank you. You talking about the Nehru's friend or yeah, whatever? Yeah, Ralph. Ralph. Uh -huh. um, I liked how he came and told us that. Oh, back in our time, I remember seeing a grave with Cheval's name on it. So I like because we they... would never found that actually. Oh, exactly. So... so I like how they set up us to get the flippers and the rope. I thought it was a good setup. I do like how they give us hints like that. Like, Thankfully. you know, because, I mean, a lot of Zelda games, it's like, okay, you need something, and you have no clue where to go exactly. with it. Well, that, yeah, that is Zelda. I mean, that's what the game's supposed to be. It really is. I always feel like there's sometimes there's these things that just, 
I look up like I, they can't figure up, yeah. figure it out. And I look up online, and I'm like, I would have never exactly figured that out. So like right here, maybe it's like too big of a clue. Yeah, but like I said, it's like, better than nothing. I would have never found this. Now one reason being we can't read grace from what I know, but <laughs> you know, it just that's also true. I guess I just like I struggle so much like with yeah, not really figuring out puzzles in Zelda, but finding things yeah, is what I struggle like you said, with. Sometimes they just don't give you the clues you need to find it. And you look it up, and you're like, I don't care how long I would have looked, I'd have mm -hmm. never figured that out. Now, this game did introduce kind of like some animal companions, I guess. Yeah. Um, there's three of them, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, sure. I, I think there is three. I think there's I think three. three. I can't remember, um, but I think there is three. We have Moosh the bear with wings, which, first of all, he seem, that seems like that'd be such a total B.A. You got this flying bear, but man, he's kind of a he's coward. A, he's a wuss. He, he really is, is the definition of wuss, which... I, if I was a bear... Okay, I'm trying to imagine myself first being a bear. Yeah. I would be a B.A. Yep. But if I was a bear... <laughs> With wings? Oh my god! Like the stuff that you can do. I mean, just oh my gosh! You, you should be ruin. You should be running this game. Like, why is he I'm not <laughs> flying away from those? Well, I guess he can't fly for long periods of time. Yeah, but like, I don't know. Just like I said, he's a coward. It's I like, mean, he's just sitting there around these guineas, yeah, like ghosts or whatever. Um, and just yeah. Now, I don't, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I don't know what I would do if I actually encountered some ghosts in real life. I'd probably be a big. I would. Coward I would too. run. <laughs> I wouldn't sit there and just sit, like do nothing like, like he's doing. Away. I would run. But I do like the idea of the animal companions. They each have their own like special abilities, and that was something new to the series. And Ricky's the best. I will meet him here in a couple parts. Yeah. I think we'll him in the next part if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but. I think actually, yes, it is the next part to get one of his items that he yep. needs. So now I was also a big fan of you know how much we've railed in Link to the Past. Yeah. About paying the money we pay for the rupees. They're just too expensive the in Link to the Past. Uh, uh -huh. It's nice to get them for free in this game. I definitely agree with that. And just the yeah, Actually, the flippers are like a big item in this game because yeah. I, this game it has a lot of water. Yep. And it has like, you know, regular water that obviously you swim in, but then it has like deeper water later on that we actually can't use the flippers for. Which so, is neat. Which I guess technically the flippers would not help us out for that, so I don't know why I'm even <laughs> mentioning that water. But okay. just like, there, I just remember there's a lot of water in this game, so it's more useful, I guess, than yeah. was like in... Did we get Link's, uh, do we have flippers in Link's Awakening? Yeah, there was a dungeon item that we got, but there was very little, yeah, like, water outside, outside yeah. of, like, the, the Catfish's Maw and the, uh, the Waterfall, uh, well, dungeon. Yeah. There wasn't a lot of water. This, well, this game, like you said, has yeah, a Yeah, this lot. game we have a sea, not, not to spoil anything too, like, later on, but we also have, like, the Zora of, uh, Domain Village, yeah. whatever you want to call it. So, like, we got a lot of water things in this game that, like I said, we didn't have with Link to the Pat. Well, we get... We didn't have Link's Awakening. Yeah. Um, Link's of the Past had a little bit of water, but even I feel like this game has more water components. I think so, too. With that sea and beach than Link's of the Past did. Now, not quite the same as uh, Wind Waker, but that's a whole different No, no, Wind Waker, Wind Waker had a tad bit more water in it. Oh, the, the King of Red Lions would have come in a little handy in this game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you know, I do actually <laughs> hate that um, deep water, though. and we'll, we'll get an item in a dungeon later on that allows us to swim in that deep water, but yeah. just... I know I, we kind of probably, actually I don't know if we talked about it or not. We actually did go back and review our past eight videos, but I don't remember everything we talked about. No, not at all. But um, <laughs> oh crap, where was I going with that? Um, <laughs> so oh, about the flippers and deep water. One thing I hate about this game is the barriers. Yeah, the barriers in the game and how you just like it feels like you can't freely explore in the game. I'm yeah. pretty sure I mentioned one of the first eight parts and just that deeper water right there that you can't even get to in the flippers. Like yeah. You're kinda, You'll see where it's at sometime here soon. And, and I know every I just hate Zelda that game, barrier. Yeah, every Zelda game kind of has like a, some barriers, but I feel like this game really did take it to an extreme. I feel like we're exploring the same little area over and over and over right now, whether it's past or present. Yeah. And even with the rock's feather and the and the power power bracelet, and even now with the flippers, there's still so much of the world that we can't get to, and it's really annoying. You know, it kind of feels like low roll. I don't know, like, low roll you couldn't really freely explore yeah. because, like, you had to, like, kind of warp and go through the rainbow cracks to get yep. to the other areas of the game. So you, I didn't like that. You couldn't freely just run around low roll. I feel like this is kind of like that game, like, where it's just it sections. Is. Like, yeah, it looks like you can travel the whole land, but it's just little sections, and you mm -hmm. can't go farther than that based on That's, what, even though you have the <laughs> items that you would think you need to have. But now we're trading in the rope, uh, Chevelle's rope, yep. so we can eventually mm -hmm. get the raft. But uh, this At is Raptor's house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this will wrap up part nine of Oracle of Ages.